Hello and welcome to the May County Managers County Board Preview. This month's Dunn County Board Meeting will be held on May 17th at 7 p.m. at the Dunn County Government Center and is available for viewing at a later date on the Dunn County YouTube page. It is almost difficult to say May because I'm not sure where January to April disappeared to, but we are sending out 2024 budget instructions to the department heads this month and January will be here just as quickly as May appeared. Last April, we welcomed several new county board members, and as we enter budget season, there's a relatively tight timeline in which various steps of the process need to occur. To facilitate a smooth process, Nick Lang, who is the county's corporation counsel, or attorney, is going to do a brief education piece for the board on how to effectively make motions and amendments. Our old friend, Colonel Henry Martin Robert, published Robert's Rules of Order in 1876 and we are still using them today to conduct meetings. Last week, we put out a graphic on social media illustrating where does your money go. The graphic splits out Dunn County's portion of a sample tax payment on a $150,000 valued property and shows where the money is spent. I've shared this document with the board as well as it's just a little different way of looking at the property tax benefits. This month, we will have department reports from child support, the courts, and county libraries. The library presenters are always very enthusiastic about the great service provided across the county at the libraries located in Boyceville, Sand Creek, Colfax, Elk Mound, and Menominee. Their presentation is always informative and fun. Your tax dollars support local libraries and so many people benefit. Last month, the county board could not come to an agreement on the funding model for the 2024 to 28 capital improvement plan. And so the options have been tweaked and the matter will come back for approval. We need to do a quick election of a chair pro tem for the June County Board meeting because both the board chair and the vice chair will be absent. Chairperson pro tem means the board member elected by the members of the board to chair any board meeting in the absence of the chairperson. We can thank Colonel Robert and his rules once again. The remainder of the meeting is pretty straightforward. The board will make a final decision on two ordinance amendments that are having their second reading. As I mentioned last month, ordinance amendments are heard for a first reading in one month and then decided upon in the following month. There are several routine budget adjustments and a rezone request. The board will also consider a resolution supporting funding at the state level for renovation of Heritage Hall on the UW Stout campus. The proposed project will renovate the building which houses the mental health and wellness, child care, education, and hospitality and tourism departments. Oh wait, there was a late breaking addition. The Dunn County Highway Committee approved moving forward a county ordinance amendment allowing ATV, UTV travel on most Dunn County roads. This is not to be confused with town roads, state highways, and village and city streets. The ordinance amendment will come to the county board for a first reading this month. The board may choose to move to suspend its own rule requiring a second reading and vote on the issue at the May meeting, but that will not be known ahead of time. The urgency of timing is a result of the amount of time that, it, that this change has been being worked upon and the upcoming UTV ATV activity in the summer. I am thrilled that you take time to check in on us and what is happening. I'm proud of the work of the County Board and enjoy sharing a bit about the variety of issues which it addresses. Join us again next month.